great afternoon. Was just watching the thing and this Pelosi that they're just really getting crazy with this anti-impeachment. Well, I don't know why she's saying it because it doesn't matter how much we want to impeach him. As long as the Republicans are there, they're not going to impeach him, not unless something absolutely uh, that cannot be um, talked against comes out on the Mueller report. But for now, forget it. You don't have enough votes with the Republicans. They've done everything they can to spin things. So for Democrats to go forward with trying to impeach Trump now, it's a lost cause. So that's why she's saying what she's saying. Let's get busy on stuff that we can do right now. You know, he's not worth the effort now because we'll be spinning our wheels on that. It's not going to go anywhere because you need to have a certain amount of votes from the Republicans and they're not going to do it at this point in time. So really, I can understand her point. You know, that it's really spinning wheels when there are things we could be uh, working on. Now, if something comes out huge in the Mueller report, she'll change her ideation, as long as she knows that there are some uh, Republicans that would jump on that bandwagon. But to this point, there's absolutely not. So anyway, I wanted to do a reading on, you know, is there any way that he could maybe be indicted as a sitting president? Well, what we have overlooking that is that the Republicans, again, would be coming out and say, uh, this is an obsession, that the Democrats are obsessed with it, okay? That they, uh, you know, the Republicans don't want to see it. They're, you know, they're trying to weigh things out, trying to weigh things out. Even though this stuff is coming down big time, they're still going to sit there and to the nth degree defend Trump. <laughs> Absolutely defend it. Because this is still a big, huge, uh, can we, can we or can we not? So going through looking at this, We've got the Mueller investigation, the hermit. I mean, he's dug down and deep. <laughs> okay. we got him. I like this, going into the underground. I mean, just ferreting out everything that's there. It's got to be 100% strong, 100% strong truth against, against uh, Trump, but it would take a magician to pull it off, okay? It's what we got. We, it would take a magician to pull this off to get them to say that, yes, you can indict a sitting president. So here we have the magician. Next we go. And we've got a lot of the big cards. We've got the magus, the, the magician, and we've got the wheel of fortune. Okay, karma card. So we've got all big cards over here overlooking at it. So we next we go into the magician. Again, this would take a magician to pull this off. And it's having to look again at all the money. All the money aspects. We've got here the knight of coins. We've got the prince of pentacles. Same thing. Prince the knight you know, what are the dealings? And they've got to have all of these dealings in hand, all of the, um, all of the paperwork to document everything. And even with that, even with all the paperwork to document everything, again, we're back, it would take a magician to get this changed. It's going to take, 
you know, a lot of strength, a lot of energy putting, being put forward on this. And it takes, we've got here the um, Page of Cups and the Prince of Cups. Okay. So it would take all this documentation 100% documentation and then it would take this energy going forward where it would become a big emotional issue being brought to the people. Huge emotional issue. Last but not least, we have Wheel of Fortune. Or what I like to say, the Karma card. You know, it's going around. Things are being revealed. But it takes, we have the Nine of Wands, big battle. Success in the end, but a big battle. And yet again, same card, Nine of Wands, twice. So even with this, it's going to be a big battle. Um, eventually success successful. I don't know whether he will uh, be indicted as president because it, it's a big battle. It would take a magician to do it. It would take a lot of, you know, emotional stuff because the Republicans are going to fight tooth and nail, even though they see all this stuff coming down on him, that it's there. They're going to do all they can to not allow an indictment to take place of a sitting president. So eventually, eventually there will be, looks like there would be an indictment, but it, we've got the wheel of karma. It's, it's, you know, it's going to happen, but maybe not while he's president. Maybe it's going to take him coming out of office because it's a totally a big battle to do it. Success in the end, but a huge battle. Again, twice it says it would take a magician to pull it off. <laughs> but eventually he will be indicted. Just might not be while he's in office. It might be that... Uh, it might be that it's going to have to wait till he's out of office. Unless we have a good magician. But again, they, they keep saying that this is a Democrat obsession. Fake news. It's a lie. It's a setup. It's a dark, deep, dark conspiracy. They're obsessed with it. You know, we're not going to look. They don't want to weigh it out. Even though... They see the truth and all this stuff coming down. Nine of blades. Okay. So they see all this stuff coming down. This is close to the end of it. It's not totally complete, but I mean, they got a lot of stuff. Nine, the nine. Okay. But they are going to still defend, defend Trump to not allow to not allow a sitting president to be indicted. Okay. So we'll have to see. Are the cards right or are they wrong? I really personally don't see why you can't indict a sitting president if you find out there are, and they say if this happened before the president, but they've been doing dirty deals behind the scenes in the presidency as well. Okay, so if you have somebody that's a crook that's in the presidency using his position to make money after money after money, you know, they have this woman selling access to him and paying money through these other means and they have him, people staying at his hotel to get access to him, to get him to swing. They got so many of these, uh, what do you call it? The ones that are lobbying lobbyists, big term lobbyists 
uh, that are holding positions in the Trump administration. Okay. I mean, that it's corrupt from beginning to end. It's corrupt. But even with that, twice here we have, it's, it would, you know, it would take a magician, it would take a magician to get him indicted while being a sitting president. I don't get it. But let's hope, you know, let's hope things change. Let's hope when that report comes out, it's enough that it does sway that emotion. That's our one hope in this, is that it creates enough of an emotional upheaval that the cry is so loud that they will have to listen. Let me see. If there is a Mueller report, report comes out and there is a huge cry, will they maybe look at indicting? <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> No, even then, no, they're going to, again, the seven of blades, yet again, they're going to defend it, defend it, defend it, even if all the people are crying out and say, we want justice, it's an emotional thing, we want the justice, they're going to say, oh, no, temperance, temperance, we can't do that, this is the presidency, this is the presidency. We can't. No, 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 no. He's got to run the office. He's He's been elected. He needs to stay there. <laughs> Even though he wasn't truly elected, he stole his way in there yet again. The Russians got him in there. He lost the popular vote. And this is why we have to change that electoral system. That has to be changed because too many times have elections been stolen by this electoral system and they're gerrymandering. Okay, they've rigged it. Oh, Trump was right. It's a rigged system, all right, but it's rigged for the Republican agenda. Okay, totally rigged. So I'm going to leave this here. Uh, sad to say, unfortunately, at this point, um, in time doesn't look like uh, they would allow impe the not impeachment they would not allow indictment of a sitting president hmm so I'm gonna leave this here maybe I'll look into impeachment later and see if that's in the cards maybe later down the way you know like I said with Tarot Things are kind of at the energy of this minute. A few hours down the way, that energy, something could shift. So don't lose hope. This will eventually, eventually he will get indicted. But it might not be during the time of the presidency. Hmm. So I'm going to leave this here. Look what I got. I got a birthday present that showed up. <laughs> Sitananda brought it over uh, in case I decide to leave before my birthday. And uh, so. I'm not going to open it till my birthday, though. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you online. If there's something you want to see read on, you have kind of an idea for something, let me know because uh, I'm running out of topics here. That's why I haven't, I didn't do a reading yesterday and I haven't been doing a lot today because I'm running out of topics, okay? So I will see you online. Thanks for tuning in. Aho.